Well, guys, this is not clickbait. She literally caught on fire. So, before I tell you the details, um, I'm kind of at a stuck place right now. My channel revolves around me traveling the world and living in my Jeep, and I have not filmed anything. Okay, that's not true. I filmed some stuff the last couple days, but I've really just been like a Debbie Downer. I have done basically nothing. I mean, I've done stuff that I suppose would be interesting to film, but just kind of in the same way, I don't really expect very many people to be too interested in me doing anything aside from traveling. I'm not interested in what I'm doing enough to be motivated enough to film it. Um, I suppose I should just be filming about my day-to-day -day life, but I feel like since my channel really revolves around the Jeep and stuff, if there's nothing going on with the Jeep, I just don't really know what to film about. So I guess my Jeep was tired of it too and decided, hey, I'll give you something to film about. So she caught on fire literally caught on fire and I don't really know what to do from here. I came to Midland specifically so I can get a job and have a steady place where I can get things fixed on the Jeep. That way I don't have to worry about, you know, something breaking and like this and having to worry about it while I'm 200 or 2,000 miles away from anybody who can help me. And, you know, I figured it'd be best to try to come here, get that all sorted out. And right now, I don't even know how to fix this. I know it's fixable, but this is not a mechanical issue. Uh, let me show you what happened exactly. Um, this is the damage right here. Ah. This is where it caught on fire. One of the fuses, I'm assuming, popped or overloaded or whatever. And yes, the fuses were all good prior to this. I had someone say something about how if there's no fuse there, it'll cause fire, but there was a fuse there. So I don't know what caused the fire, but whatever happened there, I popped the hood and there was just a flame like this tall, just right here. So I had to use my fire extinguisher. I got it put out and I was in the middle of the road actually when this happened, I was driving the Jeep. Um, I've had people say that the battery must have slid or whatever, but the battery actually wasn't touching it. It was in the same place it was here. The battery wasn't touching this anywhere. I don't know what happened, but my best guess so far from what people have said is there was some damage already under here, which I wouldn't know now because it caught on fire and melted some of the wires, but I think it was causing a current hitting this and grounding with this perhaps, and one of the wires being frayed was grounding here and it made a spark that started a fire right there. I don't know, that's my guess. Um, fuses are burnt up, which is nice. Yeah. Um, so this, if, honestly, if anybody knows anybody who can do anything about, I have, I'm at a complete loss right now on what to do with the Jeep. Um, I'm not giving up on it, you know, I just might have to learn some stuff that I've never needed to learn before. I thought I had my fair share of wiring, but this is like a new, all new for me. I might have to figure out how to rewire a whole harness. Um, to some people, this is probably a walk in the park, but I am not good at these things. I've never been a fan of electrical, especially relays. I mean, I have to replace all these relays more than likely and rewire it. And my biggest concern is not knowing what happened in the first place can only cause something like this to happen again. And I don't need that happening again. So, you know, I need to figure this out so I can get it fixed, get back on the road. And, you know, this is just another thing to set me back. And unlike everything else, I. All I needed was basically money to get it fixed, like nothing was too major. I need the glass fixed, stuff like that. Like I just needed the money. Now it's more than money. Now I actually need knowledge and experience. It's a mess. Uh, I mentioned this recently, but um, I don't think you guys actually understood what happened while I was driving to Midland. Ta-da! That happened. That's the new muffler. The muffler. The muffler completely just came off. Like I was driving here, I think this happened, I think I pulled over 
while I was in New Mexico actually. So I was about halfway to Midland and I just heard like a loud blowing noise and I was like okay and I felt like I could hear it popping and stuff. I, I don't know if my catalytic converter was as worse off than I thought it was. Maybe it melted off, My maybe it broke off. I don't even know, my cat might be bad. It's not a huge issue and I've actually been having a lot of fun driving around town. The rattling of popping's been great. I have a shop to work in. This is my uncle's shop and I guess he said it's out of the way enough so I mean I have plenty of room to work on the Jeep but I just don't have the money right now and it's it literally like I say it caught on fire. I'm at like an all time low now. I don't want to be here. I'm already tired of being in Midland but I've been getting a lot of help from friends and family lately and it's been super helpful. I actually have a vehicle to drive around. My uncle's letting me use one of his workshop trucks. My uncle's basically been like supplying everything I've needed up until this point so it's been extremely helpful having him around. Um, I don't like to be a burden to people but I don't know I've just kind of had to like accept that you know this probably is harder for them to like it probably be for sometimes it's just harder for people who care about you to not be able to help you than it is for them to you know help. I don't, I don't know I can't word that right. Someone's calling me hang on my uncle figure the devil anyway um so so before I go uh, I probably have a lot more to say but I kind of got to go I'm gonna go over to my uncle's house to eat and my dog is screaming I locked him inside of a room I have to say thank you to a few people who have recently helped support this journey camera was I recording that time I hope I was recording um, I wasn't recording I thought I was I wasn't um sorry the lighting is really sucky in here. Zane's away. So Zane's away. Thank you for becoming a Patreon supporter. Um, I shouted you out when, when I had better light, but uh, I guess I wasn't recording and I didn't go over and check the footage until now. So sorry, but thank you, thank you so much for becoming a Patreon supporter. Okay, back to the other support. I know I had one other person who reached out to me. He was a police officer, I remember. And he became, he supported me, but I don't remember his name. Aha, Aaron Gamber. I think I said that. So Aaron Gamber, another person, he actually supported me through PayPal. And I actually was surprised how many people who are already Patreon supporters have also helped support through PayPal. Like you guys are like so giving, it's really incredible. Um, also, um, shout out to Mark for helping support me on GoFundMe. Um, I have not signed into GoFundMe, so I don't know if I got anything since actually since I left Midland I have lost track of so many people but I know so many of you have helped support me as soon as I started driving to Midland um, just because I was so broke um, so many of you actually did put a little bit of your money in to help get me here and if I have not shouted you out please remind me um, I try to keep track of everybody but like literally my phone crashed and burned and then I had to download all the new apps I still haven't signed into all my apps and through the mix I have like downloading re-logging into all my emails and stuff I just lost track of like so much stuff and I'm still trying to catch up I literally I can't sign into my banks right now because I forgot the information for them so I have to go back and it's been a mess um yeah so if I have not shouted you out and you did help support this journey um, I'm sorry if I missed that. Please remind me and I will be sure to shout you out. But I appreciate everybody who has helped support me up until this point. That's all. Back to the video. Gas and groceries to get here was completely funded by all of my supporters. So you guys really are making a difference with this. I know that I'm, si I know that I'm talking about how like money I don't have. And it's true. I do not have enough money right now to be able to continue the journey and to be continue working on the Jeep even or even to buy parts but even though I don't have enough money I'm still getting so much funding just from people who want to see me succeed and I do not take that for granted I definitely feel like I'm blessed with how many people are still trying you know even though it even though it hasn't kept me on the road so far it has still kept me going up until this point I, w I really wouldn't have even been able to get here without you guys so that's still something. And I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody so far. I'm sorry that I've been kind of distant on the channel lately or even just in general, but uh, I've just been like kind of in a weird place, like both mentally and physically. 
and I'm going to be getting this video up today, I think, I don't know, I've been really lazy and for some reason I've had a terrible headache today. Um, I might update you guys on the RV situation and everything later, but I don't know, I gotta go for now. I'm gonna go take a shower and get some food.